but there are 44 chapters. What are your, what are the three biggest things you want people to take away from the book? Yeah, you know, people often ask me that, like, what's your, you know, uh, what would be your top five or top 10 or even number one? Um, honestly, it's, that is so hard because, like I said, every one of those chapters has been, I've seen the damage of somebody doing one of those things. But if I was to choose two, three of them, I would say probably number one is the be honest always be honest in relationships. I've just seen so many relationships that have paid the big price because someone hasn't been honest, if not both people haven't been honest. Um, what would be the, the, the next one I think would be um, maybe respect and love, you know, uh, that a, a man really desires respect and the woman really needs to be loved. Um, I think that's, that, these are just things I find myself talking to people about over and over and over again. So now I just send them the book and tell them to read it. Um, probably the last one would be never use the D word. So divorce, people just throw that word around way too much. Just to be quite honest, even this morning, I was helping a couple out where the husband threatened divorce and I'm like, and then when I spoke to him, he actually wasn't that serious about it, but it shook his wife to the point where it's made her think, what would my life look like if I was divorced? And you never want that. So don't ever sort of use that word if you're not planning to actually go ahead and do it. Um, so yeah, I, I would say they're probably my top three. They're the ones I find myself talking to people about over and over and over again. Yeah. So honesty, um, respect and love, and don't use the D word. Yeah, basically don't threaten them. Don't yep. threaten if you're not dead serious. I just think it's just, it's disproportional, especially the D word. It's yep. really disproportional to maybe what is happening in the relationship. So maybe you could say, I'm going to move out. Or maybe you could say, I'm going to go live at my mum's or I don't know. But to use the divorce word, what it does is people start to imagine what life would be like if they were divorced. And sometimes that's actually not as bad as they may think it is. In some ways, they some some people even get excited because it could put an end to all the arguing. And um, that's, and that wasn't your intention by using the divorce word. You were trying to scare them, but in actual fact, you almost gave them a way out. Okay. Um, and I just think it's a really, really dangerous thing to do. So I deal with relationships seriously. Like even yesterday, two couples this morning, 6.30 AM, 6.38 to be precise. A young lady calls me up, <laughs> you know, we're in trouble. Oh, okay. so I love it, but man, you know, you've got to be careful. Yeah. I know who I'm calling. If it's 3 a.m., I'm going to call you now. <laughs> 3 a.m.? All right. <laughs> Can you just wait till at least 5 a.m.? 5 a.m., I'm happy to get up. Right. 3 a.m., 3 a.m. It's really tricky. Can you just wait until 5 at least? 